At a futuristic Brisbane research centre, they're printing models of body parts. Bones, brain tumours, ears and hearts, all matched to a patient's own anatomy. Their largest yet is a life-sized replica of a man's dangerously enlarged aorta. It is quite a unique model, uh, one of those things being the size uh, and the complexity of the print process. The goal is to make operations safer by giving surgeons deeper insight before they put scalpel to skin. It gives a much better anatomical understanding than looking at a CT or MRI which are only 2D. The aorta is the main artery coming from the heart, extending down the body supplying blood to a person's brain, organs and limbs. In this case, the Queensland man's aorta had ballooned to about four times the normal size. It was a ticking time bomb. The risk is if you leave it, it can rupture, and given that that's got all your perfusion and blood supply for your body, most patients would die. A team of vascular and cardiothoracic surgeons was assembled to replace much of the man's aorta with a prosthesis. In a nine-hour operation, the specialists painstakingly connected the graft to blood vessels. Microplumbing, yeah, fancy plumbing. It's high-risk surgery. During the procedure, patients have to be cooled down so they can be put under circulatory arrest. That means blood flow throughout their body is halted for around 20 minutes. So they can wake up with a stroke or they might not wake up. The patient's operation last month was a success. He's done well so, so far. Thanks to both skillful medics and innovative technology. Emma Pollard, ABC News, Brisbane.